Good afternoon, everybody. Liz Geeslin, Better Lifestyle Solutions. Hope you're having an awesome day. Ours is going well. It's been a little stormy, had a little car repair done this morning, and now I'm in the kitchen. Um, just got back from working out, and I wanna show you, you saw in the title, what in the world are broccoli pearls? Well, I didn't know, it's the first time I've seen them. Yesterday I got them, and I'm gonna make an awesome like a side dish, but something that then you can incorporate and make into um, a one pot type dish. So I'm gonna explain everything what I'm doing, okay? Well, here's what they are, is they're basically, and see, look at that, it was on sale because tomorrow's the date. And they're just diced up, primarily the stock of the broccoli, okay? Which actually has really good fiber like the, the nutrition, and see broccoli is a really great vegetable as far as protein goes too. So on one serving, this bag, you know, they say is five servings, um, is four, gra four carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, two sugars, and uh, three grams of protein. So this is, this is nice. So I have done what I'm gonna do now in the skillet, I've done with broccoli slaw. This is also awesome. I mean, this is great as a cold salad, but sauteed, and then when you see what I do with these little pearls, you can do the same thing with this slaw. So what I've done is I, because I wanted to save on, you no know, one wants to see you make the whole dish, right? And I apologize if I'm in and out of the video, but just trying to get it set up where you can see. So what I've already done here is I've um, sauteed, I had half of a red onion left over, and um, I crushed three um, cloves of garlic in a little bit of coconut oil. And so that's done, I'm just kicking the heat back up. And I'm gonna put in this whole bag because I plan on making this where it lasts us for a couple of days. I'm gonna do a couple different things with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I've got the heat kind of on medium high. And when I'm doing this, while this is going, I'm gonna do another little um, product review. Actually, it's a um, gluten-free bread that I found at Costco that I was very impressed with. So, okay, we're gonna let that go, kick that up a little bit. We're just gonna let that cook. Now, obviously, you could eat this raw, it's broccoli. It doesn't have to be cooked. You could eat it raw. You could toss it in, like chopped up like that, just in a regular green salad if you wanted. Um, so we're just gonna let this go. It would also be good, you could stir it into soup. I mean, just, you know, let your imagination run wild. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I was at Costco the other day, and of course I have several well, not a lot, a couple um, clients that are gluten-free. And so I'm always looking to try things so I can see, well, are they even edible? <laughs> and this particular bread, the only real bread that I had tasted much before, and it's popular, is Udi's that you get in the freezer section. So this is, I found, actually it was on the shelf. It wasn't in the freezer section. The brand of it is Franz Gluten-Free. It has no high fructose corn syrup, no nuts, no soy, no dairy, no gluten. Well, the real test is, okay, that all sounds great. Um, how does it taste? Well, you get two loaves. There's 14 slices per loaf. Um, you know, calorie-wise, it's gonna be the same as pretty much most bread, although the protein value, I like Ezekiel bread, although I'll be honest with you, it doesn't taste good unless it's toasted. Okay, let's just all be honest. I mean, it's, it really is, because I, you know, I like whole grain things. But this is pretty good. It's 90 calories, uh, 1.5 grams of fat, 50, 17 carbs, one fiber, so it doesn't really have much fiber, two sugars, and two grams of protein. But if you're gluten-free, I will tell you, I'm impressed. I'm going to show you this, and what is nice about it is that Udi's just is kind of like all just one plain color. And this looks like... Now I haven't, I've only had this toasted, so I don't know what it tastes like, but you know, it really looks, I mean, nice. I mean, it's got, it looks about as close to regular, like a whole wheat bread as any I've ever seen. So, um, like I said, and it's on the shelf, I'm keeping it in the fridge just because I know I won't use this whole loaf in the five days it says after you open it. And they're like in these little um, vacuum seal bags. So I've got, I left put the other bag in the freezer and then I'm just keeping this in my fridge. So, okay, so that's that little review. I give a big thumbs up. And um, like I said, I got it at Costco. And I think it was $8 for two loaves. So, you know, it's a little more expensive than getting something like a nice loaf of bread, um, whole grain bread in the bakery section. But um, anyway, so you can see what I'm doing with this. 
okay, it's cooking. And what I do with this, guys, is I like to add an, a whole grain to it. So I made, um, I don't know if you can see, but I made, this is cooling, I made a big batch of long grain brown rice in my Instant Pot. Now here's another thing I want to say about the Instant Pot and the rice instructions. Um, it cooks the rice beautifully. In I follow the instructions from the first Instant Pot that I bought years ago. Same same brand, same duo six quart, and it has three, it's great. It had one page that had perfect long grain brown rice, perfect jasmine, and perfect basmati. Those directions have worked beautifully. Got the new pot, got the book, totally different directions, and didn't work. It's like whatever. So in my Live Better group in the file section, I'm going to upload the exact perfect recipe for this. And I'm also going to upload one if you don't have an Instant Pot. Because, you know, brown rice is really hard to get right in a rice cooker. It just doesn't really work. I've tried it for years. It doesn't. And then Alton Brown and Cooks Illustrated paired up. And they came up with a really good baked, I'll make it a mess, baked rice recipe that is in the oven for an hour, but it's perfection. And so if you don't have an Instant Pot, that recipe also will be, I'll upload that. Because it's just, you know, I just always have this stuff on hand because you can, you can just make so many different things with it. Okay, so this is looking really good. Here, I'll show you. So, see? Like Emerald would say, too bad there isn't smell evasion. <laughs> but anyway, so that's just the broccoli pearls with the onion and the garlic. So now what I'm going to do is just wing it, and I'm going to add some of this rice. I'm saving some because I'm going to use it for um, one of my client's dishes tomorrow. So that's why I made extra, so I could make this for Joe and I. Because this is will be really great, and I'll show you what I do. So... And the other thing is, is you don't have to put in rice, or you could use quinoa. You could use, you know, like I said, nothing, or if you want to add your whole grain. Um, I just love this. And then what I do with it, so it's sort of like a fried rice. Now, if you really wanted to make like a fried rice, now granted, this is a huge pan full, is take part of it out, and then add your scrambled egg if you want it. If you just wanted to have it like a veggie fr um, fried rice, that would give you more protein. Um, so this basically is just, and it has no seasonings yet. So here's what I'm going to do, because I know how Joe and I are going to use it. If I'm literally going to use just a splash of the tamari soy sauce. And I mean, literally just, that's it. Okay. And see, this is, I'm so happy because we have no problem eating the same thing several days in a row. So I'm looking at this going, okay, we're good, like, almost through the week. <laughs> so, um, but here's what's great about it is I've taken this mixture with maybe not quite as much rice in it. Well, this mixture, this is the first time with the pearls, but when I've used the broccoli slaw, and I've made kind of a mock, like, mushu chicken um, you could put in a little hoisin sauce in here or a little plum sauce, and you don't need much. And then put in your shrimp or your chicken or whatever. Put it in a wrap if you want. You know, I've talked about, I've got the, the wraps that I love. Um, so this is just a really simple side dish. And then, I mean, you could just, you know, let your imagination run wild. You could toss, all, oh, here's what I'm putting in. I'm sorry for all of you cilantro haters. It turns out there's actually, people have a gene in them that makes them not like cilantro. Well, I have the gene that likes cilantro, and so does most of my family. So I had a, a bunch of cilantro. It's all chopped. It's going in. And so I've got now a nice base of something that's good veggies, and then I can add your protein, however you want, seafood, chicken, pork, whatever and have this on hand. So, um, I think that's it. I'm gonna move this off of the heat because that doesn't need much. Turn that off. And, um, okay, talk about the bread. Oh, also, for all of you, years ago, I know, this is ridiculous, probably not a normal person would buy this much rice, but for those of you that like to buy in bulk, um, this is organic long grain, long grain brown rice. Costco had it years ago, then there's been about the last four years they haven't had it, and then I was so happy because, you know, I just buy the regular long grain brown rice at Kroger, but this time, I know I have this for a while because it's, it's big. 
it's 12 pounds. <laughs> so anyway, okay, you guys, this is it for today. I hope that you got a little bit of, um, you know, it was my first experience working with Broccoli Pearl. So I think that, you know, keep your eyes open for them. Um, I know that they also have, you know, I bought rice cauliflower and that sort of thing, but I was real excited to find this. I thought if this is really looks nice. Um, I'll probably have it with some, uh, we might do some seafood with it tonight and just package the, let this cool, package the rest up and um, have it for the next few days. So um, anyway, it's so good to see you guys. And remember that um, most of the, this information is I'm, I'm uploading files and different things in my Live Better group. It makes it a really easy way to like follow up and find the things that maybe I've talked about. And quite often I actually share the video again in the group. So if you need to watch it again, but primarily for the files, the recipes, and I'm starting to get more active getting things loaded in there to make it easier for you to find different kinds of sources. So um, remember join Live Better. It is a closed group. Of course, just ask you're going to get in and um, that's it. So I hope you have a great, great day. Remember to be better, do better, and live better. Have a great rest of your afternoon and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.